Hello, good evening, welcome back to the channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell, videos every time I upload, Thursdays at 6 p.m. and the occasional Sunday video. Those Sunday videos will be when we come and visit you to have a look at your vehicles. I don't mind whether it's a Volkswagen or like last week where we saw the old Jaguar XJS and we saw the Focus ST and two very nice cars and the rare Kia. There is a couple of other vehicles that we might be going to have a look at. If there's enough interest, then I'll upload them. If there isn't, then, you know, we'll just stick to working on the T4. You know, it's, uh, it's whatever works at the end of the day. And if I'm doing work and you want to see it, then I'll upload it. So before we get into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to all my new subscribers, especially, uh, I'll say especially, no, I'm grateful to all of you, but I mean, we've had a 4% increase from Germany, so good and tug and we've had a 1% increase from Australia. So, good day, mate. Yeah, so the channel seems to be growing, so that's really good, that's positive. And if you're wondering why I keep looking out the window, it's because, yeah, you can see my van. I just keep sitting there, just looking at it. This isn't what I do all the time. I do actually, you know, do things around the house. Well, I do actually do things. Yeah, so today's video, first of all, I want to take off the intercooler and there's some modifications that I want to do for the intercooler and the bonnet as well. So make sure you subscribe to see how that works out because today we're just going to be taking off the intercooler, not going to be doing the modification itself. Also, I need to have a look at my headlight, one of my side lights. I don't know if you remember in a previous episode, one of the side light bulbs packed up on the driver's side where the old bulbs, the wrong bulbs and it was all bodged up. So the same problem was on the passenger side and I thought it'd be okay. Turns out that it's not. When um, I was out filming uh, last weekend, matey, um, when we parked up, he said, uh, do you know your, your passenger side light keeps flashing? So when I came home last night like, quite late, yeah, it's flashing. I'll put in a little clip of that in a minute. We'll go out there and have a look. We'll change the bulb holder. And the, the thing is that there's so many little modifications that I want to do. If I put them all into, this, into one little video, and then it's going to be hard for me to title it every single job that I do. So I think I'm only going to do like a couple of little jobs in this video and then we'll just do maybe one job in each video, depends on how big the job is. There is quite a few little modifications that we're going to be making soon. So without further ado, let's get on out to the van and start getting this intercooler off. Right, so before I remove the intercooler, uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is open the bonnet. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot all about this. Uh, this is the compressor, an air compressor, uh, kindly lent to me by JVS Auto Electrical. I don't know if you remember, but he done all my electrics for me. So until he gets a unit, he said I can borrow this. But ideally, it would be nice if the pair of us could get a unit together. So if this channel grows enough, hopefully we can get a unit together and you know, bang out some decent content because his knowledge on vehicles is amazing, you know, incredible. But yeah, what I'll do is um, I'm going to put this in the garage and we'll come back to this later in the video. Right, so let's get on with removing the intercooler. So it's um, a very easy, simple job, but <laughs> if it's all in pieces, you have no idea. So we've got four 10 mil nuts at the top, well, two at the top and two at the bottom. So there's four 10 mil nuts. Um, then you've got these two pipes, two hoses that come in. Uh, when you remove it, expect a little bit of gunk in there. Also, the map sensor has to be removed. Um, the metal brackets that hold the intercooler on, they're held on by two 10mm bolts as well. And then there's some rubber mounts, but you'll be able to see that in a minute when it's all off. So the idea is, um, I could move the intercooler. There is plenty of room behind the grill here. Uh, so I could put an intercooler there, you know, we've got the radiator, the air con, and then I could, yeah, there is a few inches. Um, but the only problem with that doing that is with these pipes, you're uh, most likely going to end up with a bit of turbo lag. So up here is where the intercooler, the air comes in. Um, it's funneled down through this little bit towards the intercooler. And let's see if I can show you here. It's so dark, I, don't, I can't see the screen properly. Well, it's so bright, sorry. But yeah, these vents here, 
Um, the air comes up under the, in between sort of like the grill and the bonnet, and the air goes in through these little gaps here, and it's then sort of like funneled down through this plastic bit and onto the top of the intercooler. So the plan is to maybe get a scoop on there, open up the bonnet, um, you know, cut the bonnet open, put a scoop on top, and so I can have more cold air it going straight into the intercooler. But also underneath the intercooler, we want to put some fans there. Yeah, so I want to cut it there. So, we, yeah, I don't know, I want to get a scoop. It's slightly off center. I don't know, I've had a few, I've been looking at a few different vehicles and what I could use for a scoop. I don't want to just bodge anything up. I want something that looks pretty smart, you know? So, uh, yeah. Right, let's get the uh, intercooler off. So, I didn't get any footage of me removing the intercooler. That was the whole idea of me doing this, so you could see it. I don't know what happened with the camera. Uh, the second camera I had running uh, was watching from the front um, the headlights, so you can't see any footage there. So I was a little bit annoyed with myself. I don't know what happened with this this camera that I'm using now, that, you, that you're viewing this from. Uh, and of course there's no volume, I couldn't talk because I was holding the camera in my mouth. Skills. So the idea here is to measure the intercooler to see what size it is, to see what fans I can fit on there. So it's 240 uh, millimeters wide, so it's 24 centimeters wide and it's 17 centimeters um, height. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about the depth, but there's a gap behind um, to put the fans, I've got a 25 mil gap. So what I'm looking at getting is two fans, preferably 120 mil, uh, 25 mil thickness, and they'll go in behind here. So we've got 25 mil there. I think it was about, it's just over 25 mil the gap that I got. I could hardly get the tape measure in, but I could do that to the tape measure. I could bend it um, and there was still room and it bends there at 25 mil. So a 25 mil fan should fit on the back. So if I get two fans, I can make up some sort of brackets, put them on the back, and I'll have those fans mounted so that they draw the air through. So we should be getting cold air coming in through the bonnet and also also being forced, you know, forced from the top and then pulled through from underneath. Right, so before we fit the intercooler, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you these little rubber clips. First of all, you need the proper tool for these metal things. What I'm using isn't really good enough, and I will be getting the tool. Um, but yeah, here's those little rubber mounts. You can see them. So these are the mounts. What you will need is four of these mounts. Right. Just quickly, um, I will be selling these mounts. Uh, four for a tenner, plus two pound postage and package. So let me know if you want any. But these are 10 mil longer than the Volkswagen ones. It's not an issue. There is enough room for them to, to it still fits. So if you wanna see me fit that, because these are all part of my upgrade to fit the fans underneath the intercooler. So make sure you watch next week's video because we will be installing these, uh, checking the clearance. Uh, plus we've got a few other little jobs for next week. Right, let's carry on with the video. So before we install the intercooler, let's go back into the garage and have a look at this air compressor. Yeah, so this is some equipment that my dad had. Uh, we don't have the air compressor anymore, but he had this old gas, um, the old gunk gun. Can't find the end nozzle for that. This is the old spray, one of those spray cans we had. I used that to spray a 400 Japanese import Suzuki GSXR absolute nightmare that was not the spraying but the registering of it and that spray can um, my dad used to spray all his motorbikes with that one and he sprayed a Land Rover with it it's been used quite a lot over the years but that was back in the 90s dad done his spray and I done my spraying well early 2000s 2002 maybe so it has so it does come with a little gun so he's given me a little gun I'm going to have to get a new airline. Also going to have to get a few of these quick release adapters. So let's plug it in. 
and give it a go. So I've literally just turned it on and straight away it's pumped up to like, well instantly up to like 5 bar and then slowly working its way up. And it does say on the side of the uh, canister 8 bar but I thought right I'm just going to let it fill up until it switches off because that's what they normally do unless it's broken. And it filled all the way up to, it stopped at 9 bar so and it's holding pressure which we're all happy with. So again, thank you to JBS Auto Electrical. Cheers, Matt. Thanks for this, uh, for lending me this. Absolute legend, mate. Plus, doing all my wiring. Legend, mate. Plus, um, after watching this, you've just seen, you've got to do my fans for me. Legend, mate. <laughs> uh, and actually, um, he's actually he's put a wicked stereo in his car in his T4. I do like that. Maybe we'll have a, have a look at that sometime. Maybe I might copy him, get rid of my Alpine and put in the Sony. Yes, yeah, so you can see it's got plenty of power, this little airline, air gun. I reckon we'll be uh, doing some spraying on the van. Right, let's get back into doing the intercooler. All I've got to do now is put it back on. And it is literally two minutes to put the, that intercooler back on. So let's just get on with it. So that's pretty much it. All we've got to do now is tighten these four 10 mils up. You don't want to over tighten them because when you come to take them off, it'll probably tear the rubber mounts that they're on. So also a little bit of copper slip. Um, I haven't bothered putting copper slip on because there's still some on there from last time. And of course it's going to be taken off soon. And again, you really want the proper tools. I will be getting the proper tool to do this, but all in good time not quite yet so I'm gonna leave it there uh, make sure you like and subscribe um, subscribe if you want to see me do that intercooler modification um, I'd like to say thank you for all your comments thank you to all the new subscribers um, as the channel's growing I really do appreciate it it does mean a lot and obviously the more subscribers uh, the more content I can carry on making so make sure you hit the subscribe button you like the video and share it with your friends or anyone else that has a T4 or anyone that's into camping or anyone that may be looking at buying a T4 so uh, until next week take care stay safe safe right so I'm just sat here doing the edits um, I'm pretty much all done so I went downstairs grabbed myself a cup of tea lovely and then the doorbell went as it does because that's what happens 
when something arrives. So I have a parcel here and you've already seen what's inside the parcel but it has come to the end of the video. So again thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and I'll see you all next week.